Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Do settle down. Uh, welcome once again to the India Today South Conclave 2023 here in Kovalam. Uh, India Today brings out a power list uh, every year. Now, if you had a Congress power list, you would probably have the Gandhi family. You would have Malikarjun Kharge as the Congress president. And you would almost certainly have Mr. K.C. Venugopal. Because Mr. K.C. Venugopal, according to most people who observe the Congress, there is no decision in the Congress taken without some element of K.C. as he is known, some role that he has in any decision that the Congress takes. He is looking at me very suspiciously as I call him part of this power list. But am I right, Mr. K.C. Venugopal? that you are today seen in many ways for Rahul Gandhi what Ahmed Patel was for Sonia Gandhi. You are the new Ahmed Patel of the Congress party. Are, <laughs> I think this is the South enclave you are meaning. Sir, I am asking you, you are now a national leader. You are not confined to Kerala. I know you are in no, your no, home I, state. I, That's why you are smiling. No, I, whatever good words you are, you are talking about me, Okay, it is a pleasantry for me. But the real fact is, decision of the entire decision of the Congress party is taken by the Congress president. My role is to communicate that decision taken by the Congress president. Of course, whenever Congress president is asking feedback from me, I used to give feedback. This is the only thing, nothing else. All the decisions in Congress party, which in my signature is coming out, is Congress president's decision. Congress President meaning Malikarjun Kharge or de facto some believe the Congress President I.E. Rahul Gandhi? Uh, this is what we are not expecting from India today this type of questions. Uh, nowadays we are, we, we are expecting some channels this type of questions because of they are, our, they are having only one agenda to hone Rahul Gandhi. Here you have to understand, you know Madam Sonia Gandhi also. When Congress President had been elected as a President of Congress, she is the first person to reach his house. Congress President want to go to her, but she told him, no, 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 I am coming to your house to compliment you. But media never say like that. I am not telling about the entire media, the so-called media. There was this decision Whichever taking in the name of Congress President is the decision by the Congress President. Okay, that's an important clarification you've made. Any decision taken by the Congress President is taken by the Congress President. Is that one of the big changes? No, no, no. no, no. You know, since, since Mr. Kharge took over, we are seeing, we saw it even in the Karnataka crisis or whatever, the leadership battle, everyone was coming to Kharge's house. It was Mr. Kharge's house where all the decisions were taken. You were also seen there with him. Are we to suggest that in a way the power has shifted in the Congress from Ten Janpath, from Tughlaq Road to now Rajaji Mark to the residence of Mr. Kharge? <laughs> Congress president is Congress president in the party. Power is vested in the Congress. You know that. Whenever Madam Gandhi was the Congress President and also Rahul Gandhi was the Congress President, there is a procedure, there is a process of taking decisions. They never take decision in their own capacity. They used to consult with the senior leaders. They used to consult with all other stalwarts in the Congress Party. Then they will take a final decision. Of course, now Kargeji, our Congress President also, whenever he is taking major decisions, he used to consult Sonia Gandhi. What is wrong in it? used to consult uh, Rahul Gandhi, used to consult other senior leaders of the Congress party. Then only, this is not a dictatorship party like Modi. <laughs> so, so, in a way, what you, are tell what you are telling me is that the Congress leadership today is such that it is consultative. Yes. And Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, their role is only to provide inputs the final decision is taken by the Congress President. Am I correct? Of course. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I will take your word for it. Uh, but let's talk, sir, about... You know, I see in you an extra energy after Karnataka. 
Is this that the Congress believes now that we have won Karnataka, India next? 2024 is only 10 months away. What has Karnataka done to the Congress party? Has it revived, has it de sort of brought back the morale to a party which appeared demoralized? Certainly. There is a perception created in this country that BJP party is invincible. Because mm -hmm. Congress cannot win any election. Mm -hmm. This is what the perception created. We won Himachal, where the BJP national president is coming. Now we won Karnataka. Actually, Rajiv, you were, I, th I know that, you were there in Karnataka, I think 10, 15 days. You were traveling length and breadth of the entire Karnataka. Is there is a level playing field for the opposition parties in Karnataka in this election? Last 10 days, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was there in Karnataka for campaigning. What about the television space for Congress party in those days? Entire Modi's road show, entire Modi's public meeting, entire television is showing only that. Where is the level playing field? Whenever we want to fly a to some place, to some other places. There is no airspace, and their space is booked for Prime Minister. Okay, it is up to him to travel, nine, uh, to, to have a campaign on nine days in Karnataka. It is up to him. But we, we need to have a level playing field for the opposition also. Why we are putting code of conduct? Why we are pu putting guidelines for the elections? You are telling, telling me that you, are, you, you yeah, won I'm Karnataka taking, despite the fact that you claim there was no I'm level coming to that point, not only despite that fact, you know. How many Congress candidates had been raided during the election? 67. How many? 67 Congress candidates had been raided during the period of election. Of How many BJP candidates raided? Zero. Entire Enforcement Directorate, CBI, Incontro our PCC president had been seven two times. T.K. Shukumar, during the election period. CBI, Enforcement Directorate, Income Tax Department, and even I am saying Election Commission also. Whenever we are putting a complaint to the Election Commission, nothing will happen. When BJP putting a complaint to the Election Commission, sudden action. No, you are making a very serious no, allegation. Yeah, we are making, we are, we are You are asking. claiming that the Election Commission of the country is no longer a neutral umpire. No, they, in Karnataka, our experiment is that whenever this... Narendra Modi statement, Prime Minister statement, Congress is supporting extremist. Do you hear that statement? Mm -hmm. Congress is supporting extremist. We given a complaint to the Election Commission of India. What was the reply? Whenever Priyank Karge given a statement, he got a notice within, within 24 hours. When he criticized the Prime Minister. Huh? Therefore, 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 therefore Therefore, the, we fought not only with BJP, we fought against these agencies, we fought against these things. Therefore, we are expecting neutrality from the Election Commission. I am not <laughs> criticizing them because the Government of India putting maximum pressure on Election Commission. They are put, trying to put pressure on judiciary also nowadays. This is the situation in this country. In this situation, winning Karnataka with 138 seats big boost for Congress party. It's a, it's a big boost for, boost for democratic forces of this country. You know, but sir, you will also admit that Karnataka is not India. You have more challenges coming up. You have Telangana, you have Madhya Pradesh, you have Rajasthan, you have Chhattisgarh in the winter, and then you have the general election. You also have an election in Mizoram, before I forget, in November, December. I want to understand from you, uh, Mr. Venugopal, do you agree that, particularly in the North Indian states, the Congress will find it much tougher than you found in Karnataka? Karnataka, you have a solid organization, and in Siddharamaya and Shiv Kumar, you had two leaders who worked together, at least during the election, and a strong face in Siddharamaya, organizational man in Shiv Kumar. Will you find that in North India? Would you agree that the Modi factor, particularly in North India, will be tough to combat, sir? No. I Fair enough to say that we need to travel a lot to reach that 2024 victory. We also know about that. Congress cannot, can, alone cannot do it. We need support from entire like-minded political parties. 
but don't think that bjp cannot be defeated in the north india himachal is the one of the biggest baton for bjp you can take it from me you write it now madhya pradesh also we are going to win hands down this time i am writing it down ha ah, you are you can madhya write it down madhya pradesh you are winning hands down the laboratory of the bjp adwani told madhya pradesh about the laboratory of the rss no you are becoming like amit shah amit shah also says write it no, down no 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 i am not like this. we are very confident we are getting inputs okay Look, you, why why so you change? are winning madhya pradesh why say? this change this change happened with because of so many reasons hmm. one of the key trigger in this point is bharat jodo yatra bharat jodo yatra from our karnataka experience also i can say that we travel 521 km in karnataka rahul gandhi took that yatra in 521 km in 21 assembly constituencies seven district from chamraj nagar to raipur yes raichu raichu ha out of the 21 seat congress 116 1 independent supported uh, independent also one bjp got zero no one minute one minute are you saying mr venu gopal that you are going to give credit for the karnataka victory now to bharat jodo yatra and rahul gandhi and not to sidaramayya and shiv kumar who are working night and day on the ground in karnataka no this is the problem with the no. yeah 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 yes yes sidaramayya shiv kumar mallikarjuna karge yes the man from karnataka yes of course the our entire cadre been electrified you can see the video of raichur bharat jodo yatra raichur yes i saw it you saw it yes Dramatic. bellari bellari road show bellari we this time he swept all the seat we won this is not only the credit is not going to bharat jodo yatra uh, my point is our cadre had been electrified during the bharat jodo yatra that given a big boost for congress in karnataka fair enough this Mad- I'm, i am coming to that point madhya pradesh also whenever we started bharat jodo yatra everybody told us kerala it will be a success beyond kerala it will not have any impact but you see in ujjain you see in indore how was the response basically i am telling the narrative we try to put in karnataka election is poor versus rich that was the battle you are saying now. Uh, yeah. poor versus rich that was the battle we are going to fight in 2024 also you are telling us that the battle the congress is fighting is poor versus rich post poll survey certainly shows 11% edge among the poor to the congress in karnataka you are saying you will repeat that in madhya pradesh what about rajasthan the one state you are you are actually an mp from rajasthan rajya sabha i want to understand all i see from rajasthan is ashok gelot and sachin pilot fighting with each other it's like a long running political soap opera when is it going to end here also rajiv that little justice have to be shown to congress party you are in very time you are talking about sachin gehlot why don't you talk about uh, vasundhara and this uh, shakhavat so you are in good form no, today no 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 i am telling very very really very real the bjp in their fightings in rajasthan is in a high peak i pitch and yours your oh, infighting our infighting ours i already told earlier our party is a democratic party their party it's a one man will decide second man will su- uh, uh, support nobody can say anything about that this is what bjp dynamics here we have a democratic party sachin and bhalot both are assets of the congress party they have differences they will have differences in future also sidaramayya and divkesh kumar having differences when the election point is coming everybody will together we will win rajasthan you can see the programs of the rajasthan government no you are telling me sachin pilot will stay with the congress and he and gelot will be there together to fight the election i am i am confident on that will you give sachin pilot some assurance he must be listening to you he wants to know what is the road map <laughs> does he have mera number kab aayega he is asking how can how can i but how, he how can i say and the strategies of rajasthan congress party in with you share with you sir because some, something you you to ask party to decide 
Sir, this is the India Today Forum. This is the forum where we like you to tell things that you don't tell others. So I no, but you're, you're saying that Sachin uh, that no, Sachin no, no, Pilot will be with no, the. No, I think I think Rajasthan is going to be a good state for Congress. We will fight together, Shogalod, Sachin, on all other leaders. How will you accommodate to... Sachin Pilot? What will you do? Sachin, I, mean... I told is. Sachin will be the part of the entire Congress party in Rajasthan. What is the point? Eh? Everything will be settled out. Okay, so Madhya Pradesh, you have said, write it down, you are winning big. Rajasthan, you are saying Sachin, Pilot and Gelot Ji will work together. Chhattisgarh? Chhattisgarh will win hands down. Hands down again? Huh? Again, I am writing it down. Huh, you are really down. becoming like Amit Shah Ji today, sir. No, 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 he, no, 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 no. Chhattisgarh, everybody is telling. They are also, BJP also telling Congress is going to win. Okay, so Chhattisgarh also. Then we come to the state, not too far away from here. We are in the south, uh, Telangana. What's going to happen there? Telangana, basically three months before Telangana, there are difficulties for Congress. Now I am talk, talking to you with the latest feedback from Telangana. Mm -hmm. Clearly the fight between Congress and TRS is very close now. Very close now. I'm not telling we are winning today. But we will win Telangana also. The, because earlier, three months before, our situation was not like that. BJP is staying, trying to have a second position. Now BJP is far away from us. The fight is between TRS and Congress. Fight is very close. What has changed suddenly? That we know that last uh, three months we are holding Padayatras. Our PCC president and CLP leader. In two, they are in the... Completely they are in the fields. Huge turnout all over Telangana. Immediately after the Bharat Jodo Yatra, this two Yatra had been already had been conducted by two leaders, basically PCC president and CLP leaders, getting biggest attraction from the people of Telangana. What if, if you are winning, you are saying Madhya Pradesh, doing well in Rajasthan, winning Chhattisgarh in the fight in Telangana. What about India 2024? Anyone I speak to, any seasoned political observer says, Mr. Modi is the front runner. That in 2024, the fight is Modi versus who? How do you respond? In 2024, the fight is between Vajpayee and with whom? 2004. Huh? We won that election. India's shining campaign was the very much and their opposition was divided. But 2004, when election came, finally Congress led UPA government came into power. The situation in this country is not like 2019. The what? people are now understanding what the delivery point of Narendra Modi. The people, unemployment rate is high in this country. Price rise is there everywhere. Yeah, only one answer you are giving, religion or polarization. This will, people, okay, of one time it may be worked out, but every time it is not going to work out. But is leadership also an issue because the prime minister's campaign managers will try and make the election almost presidential style. As I said, Modi versus who? Is Rahul Gandhi the answer when you say rich versus poor? You mentioned Bharat Jodo Yatra. Is that really the... Do you really believe Rahul Gandhi can be your face to take on Mr. Modi in 2024? Uh, I told the country need a change in government now. I think you are a senior most journalist in this country. What is happening in this country nowadays? Where is the freedom of press? This type of governance, whether we are expecting clearly a dictatorship in every way of administration, government is bulldozing their fanatic religious ideas. I told you already, entire opposition party is been targeted by agencies on political ground. This is a high time to decide to remove this government from the center. 
so it therefore we i am coming to that point mm -hmm. therefore we are very very open we are very very open. our main objective is to defeat bjp defeat narendra modi in 2024 who your leader is i asked you a that, question that we will that will be emerge immediately after the election result within within no delay that will emerge who is the leader what will rahul gandhi's role be certainly rahul gandhi is the main campaigner for the congress party who congress president himself told in hyderabad during the bharat jodo yatra he will be leading the congress party but that doesn't mean that entire opposition having that same feeling therefore we will sit together we will sit together no you are making, will... no you're making you're saying the entire opposition will sit together like minded parties i want to understand does that mean parties like arvind kejriwal's aam aadmi party trs which kcr says i am also opposed to the bjp uh, navin patnaik who clearly is softer towards the bjp jagan mohan reddy who softer towards the bjp will you call all of them or only the existing upa parties no 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 there are there are ways sir. in some states for example in kerala we are sitting in kerala you yes. never invited our kerala leaders in this conclave they are, they have complained me they didn't get a chance to represent for kerala congress party here i uh, promise you, you i promise invite... you they will be there next time but go ahead <laughs> only invited ministers there were we are you are, are you are good enough for all of them sir here we are here here we are fighting against uh, cpm yes because the main op, main fight is between cpm and congress in kerala yes we cannot even imagine have an electoral lens with cpm in kerala same way we are fighting against trs in telangana this was happened in 2004 also this was happened in 2009 also therefore there will be a pre poll alliance and post poll alliances this is a way to settle all these things pre poll uh, you are making again an important news point pre poll alliances with like minded parties post poll alliances much more strategic like in kerala possibly with the left because no i am not i am not telling ically kerala that 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 the situation will tell you no i'll tell you why sir earlier today don't make it as kerala okay. we are going to wave for small alliance i'm clearly telling <laughs> no, it, is, no, no. it is very difficult for us to have an alliance with cpm yeah i'll tell you why because earlier today john britas the rajya sabha mp of the left was here he said congress should be rational they should fight 150 160 seats seriously and do very well in them in some states like kerala they should allow us to do uh, to lead the fight <laughs> are you willing to allow kerala to be the fight to be led by the left Kerala, our party is very strong. In last time, how much is our tally in parliament? Nineteen out of twenty. Nineteen out of twenty. Therefore, therefore, how can anybody tell that Kerala you leave? No, but he's saying Then, fight. No, What no, he's no. saying is fight. One hundred and sixty to two hundred seats. No, Whether no, Kerala no, no, or outside. No, 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 focus, no. focus on limited number of seats. No, no, our focus will be everywhere. Basically, main focus will be against BJP. That they don't worry. they how to worry about the uh, bengal or kerala uh, they, they can convert they can contribute it then what about aam aadmi party aam aadmi party yeah. can you have a tie up with them they, because i i told you broadly broadly our stand is very clear our principal enemy is bjp we are very much sincerely concerning about to defeat bjp in 2024 kejriwal also says the same thing but he has to show it are you are you, are you willing for a tie up no, let's no, say no. he says i will give you four seats in delhi i will give you three seats in delhi you uh, contest uh, i will contest four i will give you three are you ready no oh, that 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 things will be uh, this, this this type of things alliance discussion you're open be, you're open you know, for that it. that they will, we are not open that things so will be we, we need a we need a deliberation with our state units because this is the democratic party i told you earlier without asking delhi pcc without asking punjab pcc how can we go with uh, amatmi party certainly we are fighting each other punjab who is fighting with amatmi party congress the bro we need to have a understanding with our state units you know you mentioned kerala uh, we are in tiruvananthapuram there is a huge question mark whether shashi tharoor will contest tiruvananthapuram again is he still a important member of your party or are you all angry with shashi tharoor for taking on malikarjun karge honest answer he is one of the biggest asset of indian national congress biggest asset biggest asset of indian national congress 
Sashi Tharoor is... There is no uh, fight Sashi between... Tharoor, nothing is there. Sashi Tharoor contested in parliament by presidential election. Nothing wrong in it. We only told for... Congress party only installed for an election, democratic election. He contested. Sir, one political observer in Kerala was telling me, why doesn't Congress project Shashi Tharoor for the next state election? They will win Kerala. They need to have a new face for Kerala, but the old guard in the Congress doesn't want Shashi Tharoor to be projected. <laughs> is that true? Do, this, the entire India Today conclave is to trouble Kerala Congress. Is it it? Is no, no, it? no is, 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 is this group... <laughs> you are not giving any space to that leaders to speak. <laughs> then you are asking me this question. Shashi Tharoor, Sudhagaran, Sadishan, Mr. Chennitala, all are biggest assets of Congress party in Kerala. All are deserving personalities for any position in Kerala. But finally, party will stand, but party will take a decision unitedly. And high command will also have some stand. You know, the reason, of course, is when, when we raise this question, because over the years we have found that the Congress often, sir, with due regard, is its worst enemy. That you are a party that knows how to score self goals to snatch victory, uh, defeat out of victory. This is the perception that even when things are going well, congressmen fight with each other and as a result the party loses out. Are we going to see, particularly with a new president like Mr. Kharge, a very senior man, all of this coming together? Mrs. Gandhi was able to hold it together when she was Who congress was president. Was but there's a sense that without her there, will the new leadership be able to bring all these factions across India to fight collectively. Mallikarjuna Karge ji, how many times he won the election, Rajdeep ji? Eleven times. Eleven times. Is it a silly thing? Eleven times winning an election. He was one of the topmost parliamentarian in this country, as a leader of opposition, as a leader in the Lok Sabha, as a leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha also, state and centre. His capability as an organizer, he was the PCC president of uh, this Karnataka also. Best, one of the best PCC president of Karnataka. Mallikarjuna Kargi. But you never made him chief minister. <laughs> no, he's but, the best but, 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 but now he is the Congress president deciding the chief ministers. <laughs> he decided the Karnataka chief minister. He decided. He decided the Karnataka chief minister. Final decision on Siddharamaya was taken by Mallikarjuna Kargi. Mallikarjuna Kargi. You, you have to understand his path also. The way in which came from Gulbarga, how much sacrifices he have done, how much challenges he had overcome. You know, he is the most seasoned politician in India. He can. No, in fact, there is a buzz, sir, now, let me, there's a buzz also in the Congress, why don't you project Malikarjun Kharge? Because one of the things we saw in, in Karnataka, large Dalit voters moved from BJP to Congress this time. And there is a view that if you project Mr. Kharge across India, the Dalits, the tribals, the weaker section, the poor will return to the Congress. Why don't you project Mr. Kharge? Therefore, that's what I'm telling. Whomever want to project everything, Mallikarjuna Kharge himself will decide. Don't worry about that. He, Congress president will decide all these things. You see, the reason again for these questions is because generally there's a feeling that Congress party is umbilically tied to the Gandhi family. That you cannot, if you have a Kharge... Now, can I ask a question, Jagdeep Ji? Sir. You are every time is telling Gandhi family, Gandhi family. After Rahul, Rajiv Gandhi, which Gandhi family member hold position in Indian government? In government? Huh? Tell me. But Sonia Gandhi was the longest serving Congress president. No, that is different. Eh? After Rajiv Gandhi, which Gandhi family member hold the position in the government? You are telling Gandhi family, Gandhi family. Whether Rahul Gandhi become the Prime Minister, whether Rahul Gandhi become the Home Minister of this country, any Chief Minister. Because the BJP keeps saying Congress is a dynastical party. They say the Congress is a party that cannot <laughs> look beyond the family. The BJP is saying, you people are only airing that opinion. You will never give a dissent voice. Whomever no. is telling dissent, they are anti-nationalists nowadays in this country. Sir, I am called anti-national every day. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I, so, sir, so I, I am used to it. I am looking now. They told me, go to Pakistan. I am not getting a visa from Pakistan. But, sir, I, more seriously, is this therefore a sign? What we sense is that Rahul Gandhi wants to change some of this. He wants to, as you say, actually try and democratize the Congress, get the party at the state level to take more decisions. 
Is that one of the changes that we are seeing since we are, our topic is Congress after the Bharat Jodo Yatra that Sir, now you are more decentralized decision making is not all only in Delhi it with was, the high it command. Was, it was there earlier times also. Who introduced uh, democratic election in Youth Congress and NSUI? Only Rahul Gandhi. Lot many people from the our PCC people, state leaders are telling, scrap this election. But he took a strong stand, do it, well, maybe some sort shortcoming is there during the election period. But need to have a democratic selection in Youth Congress and NSA body decided by Rahul Gandhi only. He was for sharing powers, decision making body also, he need more people in the states also. You need a Congress working committee. Where is your Congress working committee? You had said in your Udaipur summit that you will have a Congress working committee, a committee in place. We still don't have a Congress working committee in place. You said there will be one man, one post. Mr. Kharge is still your leader in the Rajya Sabha and he is your Congress president. You see, you have to start walking the talk, sir. Then we will trust that the Congress is actually changing. Why have you not got a working committee? What happened to one man, one post? I think we, we will have a trust factor immediately. Because Congress working committee formation is not an easy, easy thing. Because of so many equations we have to maintain. So many... Have an election, so, so, sir. No, we, no, no, we had already decided to have a 50 percentage below 50 years age. 50 percentage of the CWC members, OBC, SC, ST, minority. Yes. No, no, Congress president is on the job. He is on the process. There he will is, be a working ah, he, is, he, he is consulting the leaders. He is on the process of doing Congress working committee. There will be he, one soon? Give him a few weeks. He will do it immediately. Don't worry. I am not worried. It's your party. You all have to be worried. Uh, I only observe what I see. But, you know, today Rahul Gandhi, uh, very interestingly, in, uh, in uh, uh, the U.S., has stay, said a statement which the BJP has picked up mm. and they are trending it. Mm. Rahul Gandhi was asked a question, sir, in Washington. Is the Muslim League a secular? How do you see the Muslim League as a secular party or not? He said Muslim League is secular. BJP is saying, look at Rahul Gandhi, he's calling the Muslim League secular. What is your response since you are an ally of the Muslim what? League, Indian Union Muslim I... League, not Pakistan, Indian Union Muslim League in, whenever, in India? Whenever Muslim League is hoisting their flag in Kerala, Yes. BJP will tell that, oh, Pakistan flag is hosting. Muslim League flag is that. This is not a Pakistan Muslim League, which Rahul Gandhi referred. Rahul Gandhi referred about Indian Union Muslim League. I live in Kerala. Here, so many Kerala politicians are there. They are no. I can narrate your incident. Muslim League is the secular party. Give me a yes. proof of that. Certainly. I don't know. You know Angadipuram Thali Temple. Yes. One of the famous temples in Malapuram. Yes. Fire have been happened in that temple in 2007. Fire? Ha. The first person reached that temple is Panakar Sahid Muhammad al Shigab Tangal. Not only that, he took the initiative of renovating that temple. He inaugurated the renovated temple with Samudri Raja. He, Panakar Tangal, inaugurated the renovated temple with Samudri Raja. The same day that when this Babri Masjid incident was happened, Demolition. Demolition happened. The first person came outside and called for a peace is Panakar Said Muhammad Ali Shihab, the president of Indian Union Muslim League. How can you call that party an anti-secular party? So this is Kerala's vision of secularism, where Hindus and Muslims, you say... Yes, sir. Here, 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 Kerala, in most Hindus, marriage is happening. In my old constituency, Kayangola, it has happened. In temple, Muslim girls, marriage will happen. Here, people are living together. Don't pour venom on that. I have this advice to BJP, we, we people used to do. You are telling the BJP, tell the real Kerala story, don't tell the Kerala story as they show on the, in the no, film. No, no, they are coming here, Kerala also. Big friends of Christians. Yes. Nowadays, they, the entire BJP is telling entire Christians, what is happening in Manipur? What happened in Karnataka? Last 20 days, how many churches burned in Manipur? 222. We 222 just, we churches. We just got the figure. Uh, several, no. sir, several temples have also been attacked, but 222 churches. Now, my point is that whether any representative of the government went, I, I am agreeing that Union Home Minister went two, two days before. This had happened 23 days before. They are busy in Karnataka election, roadshow. 
when manipur is burning you when you are telling about the communities you should have a policy to attract them what is the bjp policy what is rss ideology whether it is suit for christians basic answer they have to give to the people otherwise electoral benefit ke liye you are going there you are coming there is it the matter so you don't think that the bjp can make any dent in your home state of kerala not possible zero you can count it 2024 also they will be zero in kerala certainly sure ah sure you know i must say this confidence i don't know where it this is what an election victory does no no no, no. i mean one election victory i mean and kerala of course is a different case but i'm sensing in you we use the word body language often there seems to be a spring in your step uh, uh, mr venugopal that uh, suggests that the opposition that the is little, back in the game little bit little bit little bit uh, correction from our party is also we are doing the mm -hmm. way of electioneering whenever election happen we used to go for election stage just two months before mm -hmm. now we change that entire pattern karnataka we started one and a half years before Mm -hmm. Telangana, we already started. Madhya Pradesh, we already started. Chhattisgarh is also going on. That's why our election preparation is also we are changing. Right down to the booth. We are taking, right down to the booth level. Ah, uh, right down the booth level. We are taking feedback from the common people, from the party workers. According to their feedback, we are making our assessment. Because the BJP has right down at the bottom level, Panna Pramukhs, one page of an electoral roll. From there, they go upwards. They have election strategies. They have pollsters. Mr. Modi and Amit Shah work very hard on micromanaging an election. Do you have anyone to match them for election management? We are several people to match them in election management. Now we are very much for that. Our election system is totally changed. coming days we will concentrate on parliament election seats and this five state assembly elections you'll announce candidates well in advance this that's, time that's that's what we done it in karnataka that is what we done it in karnataka that we are going to do it in madhya pradesh rajasthan chatisgarh and uh, telangana also i am also told that rahul gandhi will be embarking on another yatra this time from either west to east or east to west either porbandar to arunachal pradesh or arunachal pradesh to porbandar is that true discussion is going on not finalized so far some discussion is going on no but on. is it likely that before the next general elections rahul gandhi will embark we, on another yatra we have a plan not finalized so far no but is the yatra now the model that you have that you want to because one of the criticisms of the congress was it had become a drawing room party that you all sit in delhi in drawing rooms and you all decide everything you need to go to the people have you all again decided realize you need to rebuild certainly, your connect certainly certainly i'm totally agreeing with you you need to connect the grassroots level people and common people of this country we will do that only so you are talking of a complete rebooting of the congress party in a way accepting that over these years the congress party has lost out because you had lost that mass connect that also means you have to create mass or you have to encourage mass leaders certainly are we are we going to see mass leaders identified in every state because north india sir particularly in uttar pradesh in bihar the congress is virtually disappeared are you really going to see a revival in the next 12 months of the congress in states like up states like bihar everything cannot be done through an overnight it will come out certainly i am hopeful party is hopeful that coming days is for a revival of congress what role will priyanka gandhi wadra play there is some talk that she will be the one who may contest from wayanad rahul gandhi has been disqualified as an mp if elections are announced in wayanad tomorrow will priyanka gandhi wadra be your candidate that's the buzz again we are not bothering about the by election is in wayanad we not are bothered. we are bothering about the process which they have done to disqualify rahul gandhi which indian media is not at all discussing unfortunately no no we are we are, we are worried about the, the process of disqualification from the parliament why disqualified why disqual what was the reason that you you see the sequence of the judicial process in surat court happened Mm -hmm. the case was stayed by the petitioner itself in ahmedabad court 
when it was revoked again after he raised the question against adani in the parliament we had the records we had the details that day narendra modi decided when he raised the question on adani on parliament that day narendra modi discussed, decided this man is not needed in the parliament no but narendra modi cannot influence the court in surat i am not telling influenced but uh, people are all watching all these things no 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 you have to be very clear you said narendra modi ji decided the day rahul no, gandhi raised no, adani's name in parliament no, rahul I'm, gandhi has to I'm, be disqualified uh, because i am telling this ah uh, there is a reason in that i told you this case was happened in 2019 parliament election yes understood kolar when rahul gandhi was in kolar i was also with them that point of time i was in charge of karnataka that point of time he spoke these things gujarat one mla has given a complaint to the surat court mm -hmm. after two years after one year he went the petitioner went to ahmedabad high court to stay the proceedings of this entire case court stayed when it is reopened reopened in 2023 i am not february. remembering the exact date february this was happened immediately after the speech in parliament that man is a bjp man the petitioner is a bjp mla yes he is are you saying the judge is also a bjp man no I, I, you don't put your words in my mouth but but i am telling this is this is this is this is the this is the bjp mla my point is that he himself the petitioner himself went to the high court for staying this case suddenly he withdrawn after the after the parliament episode when rahul gandhi raised the issue of adani therefore narendra modi decided those who are talk questioning against him on mm -hmm. corruption mm -hmm. that people need not to be in parliament this is a bigger issue than why not by election for us why not whenever by election won't happen i am challenging mr rajiv ji with humbly we will win with a margin of lakhs of lakhs of votes there is no problem of winning why not for congress party or udf you know you you're sounding so confident the reason we sound skeptic uh, skeptical because in 2014 and 19 in direct fights in lok sabha between congress and bjp bjp won most of those seats and many believe the congress is the kamzor kadi in this alliance that you are the weak link your you seem to suggest that all that has changed karnataka is evidence and it will spread across the country no our thinking that the country's mood is changing this Country's is what mood this is, is changing that this is what uh, we are also getting inputs we are also i told you, we are also getting inputs professionally getting inputs from various states the country's mood is changing if the uh, we are i am again telling congress can alone not having the capacity to beat bjp now entire opposition has to be together so how many seats are you giving congress in the lok sabha of 2024 because last time you were down to your lowest number 52 how much are you saying kerala that? kerala rajdeep ji so many astrologers are there but i am not one of the astrologer family now you are an astrologer for madhya pradesh you are saying you are very hands down no, 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 no. that is very near by <laughs> no no but we are coming towards the end of what has been an i i and i open up because this is the first time you've come in a way on a stage like this and and you know being so candid uh, about the state of your party both the pluses and the minuses uh in the last few years you moved from kerala politics five time mla and mp uh, yeah 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 three yeah. uh, time mla and two time mp so five and third six time rajya sabha mp six rajya sabha you moved to delhi what is the biggest challenge that you found i find now that you are also started to speak in hindi questions are asked to you the other day on rajasthan you immediately broke into hindi thoda 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 <laughs> is is that the biggest difficulty that politicians from the south find when they go up north to adjust to a hindi heartland no, is no, it that no, you no. have to learn it, hindi it, it is a challenge for all of us we have to learn hindi is also our national language we have to we have to learn hindi because when you took up this very important post one fear was will a mp from kerala experienced of course be able to adjust to the politics of north india madhya pradesh rajasthan up bihar their politics are very different how have you adjusted how have you changed how has kc venugopal changed the circumstances make you be make your position change over this thing that circumstances will demand you Do you, what is easier to do politics in Kerala 
you were tourism minister i think here for a while yeah. as well this hotel in a, a way after mr thomas i was a tourism minister that's right mm. you poor, let poor mr thomas out of your party <laughs> <laughs> but but I, i i want to understand what is more difficult doing politics at the state level or politics in delhi is this the more difficult challenge in very way i my my understanding is those who done kerala politics it is very much easier for them to have national politics also those sorry let let's repeat that those who have a experience in experience in kerala politics they will have an easy turn in delhi national politics they'll have an easy turn mr karnakaran didn't find that you know he was one of your most powerful congress leaders in kerala when he went to delhi life was not as easy he, he was there he was there he was there he in was and there. around he was very very much and antony ji was there very much for the long time you know that his son has now gone and joined the bjp doesn't matter he is 100% stronger congressman are you disappointed that so many young congressmen people close to rahul gandhi have all left you and joined bjp jyotiraditya sindhya rpn singh mm. jitin prasad mm. all close to rahul I'm, gandhi all have gone to yeah, the yeah, i am disappointed that thinking about the future of that young boys what they are doing in bjp <laughs> because uh, i because yodhirajit singh is one of my best friend mm. best friend we used to sit in the same chair in the parliament but now when i see him no plus, no uh, happiness in his face you have become a face reader no 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 i am telling you i am telling you you are talking about the people the left left congress party what about jagdish that Jag, this you know, ex chief minister jagdish chatar chatar what about saudi how many bjp people joined in congress also this is also one complaint from our side to media whenever a congress dcc president joined bjp big breaking dcc president joined in bjp whenever an ex chief minister joined B- congress from bjp small shot no no not true i i on the day that mr shetar joined our reporter traveled india eight, today run india today run. our india today reporter traveled 8 hours by car to get me a ob live with jagdish shetar at 9 pm on the day he left Raj, the party Raj, so you cannot Raj, make, you are different little bit i am different little bit you said you are saying little bit very quietly but that's okay i can i can still live with that also if i am giving a if congress party is giving a good certificate to you it will be troubled you lot <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right anybody from the congress gives me a certificate it is troubling you know we've had a completely wonderful time uh, 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 mr venugopal you opened up i think it's the air of kerala that makes you i've been asking him for several months now in delhi yeah in, invite me over for breakfast because i want to have nice dosas what does he do <laughs> he invites shiv kumar and sidaramaiya <laughs> and then sends me the photograph you know look at it they they've resolved all the issues over breakfast i said what happened to my breakfast i want news from you you have to give us news C- also C- certainly <laughs> why are you such a private person i don't see you opening up uh, in delhi like you have opened up in kerala no, 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 my my, my my job is not to open up all the decisions of the congress party my job is to work in congress party for the party and for the party leadership that we are doing your personal ambitions would you do you have any personal die, die, die as a congressman die as a congressman die as a congressman is, you told me something very interesting you yeah. told me you joined politics at the age of 13 13 13 yeah what were you doing at 13 when, when i was age standard in age standard in madamangalam government high school you can check it is a very very remote area in the state there is no bus also at that point of time there is no travel we used to walk to the school high school government high school and i stand a candidate of ksu leader here school election also that point of period political basis ksu versus sfi i started my political career from that point of time At the i become ks become ksu taluk secretary that when i was 13 years i'm telling now it is i am 60 47 years i was in politics you don't look 60 <laughs> Look at my hair it's all gone gray and I'm 58. <laughs> huh? You are so intelligent the hair <laughs> no. may be white. <laughs> no, I seem to have all the problems you don't seem to have all the problems. <laughs> my hair grows gray but you know uh, I, we have still 5 minutes to go. Uh what is it about KC Venugopal that we don't know apart from the fact that you started your political career at the age of 13? 
Are there other things about you that no, we don't? No, I you, that interesting things. I yes. used to play volleyball in my school and college life because I'm not intended to come in politics at all. My family want to be in, to become a lecturer or engineer or something. I used to, I, I do not done my PG in mathematics. Uh, then I studied, I am interested in mathematics only, but incidentally that during the period of education, I used to contest election in the colleges as a university union counselor, university union chairman, senate member, this type of thing. It already automatically made me a politician, student politician in those, those days. Then incidentally, that point of time when party decided to contest in Lok Sabha election, my first election was Castle Gold Lok Sabha election. I lost that election for 2,500 votes. First election. Ah. Which year was 91. that? 91. 91. And volleyball is your favorite sport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because volleyball is G the ultimate G team G sport. G Jimmy George, Kerala. Yeah, the great Jimmy uh, George. Jimmy George, he, he, was, he, was, he was the icon of volleyball at that point of time for me like people. In Bharat Jodo Yatra, he used to play volleyball. <laughs> you played volleyball during ah. the Bharat Jodo yeah. Yatra? Evening time, he used to play. Did Rahul Gandhi play volleyball or Rahul Gandhi was kept out of Rahul Gandhi used to watch that type of World Cup football was there. We used to watch World Cup football. That's a nice life, yeah, watching World Cup football after yeah. walking. After all that walking, oh. while you all played the volleyball. Yeah. You know, the, that Bharat Jodo Yatra, I was, by, uh, you know, I, I, I walked for part of it to report on it when it completed 100 days. That must have been a huge organizational exercise. Your rivals are asking, Paisa kidar se aya? This is the BJP said. They put all that the Congress says they have no money, but they have money for a Bharat Jodo Yatra. How much money we spent there? That they didn't know. How much did you spend? Very, very, very. We didn't spend much at all. Because our state unit is doing, we are never doing from AACC. Whenever we are in Tamil Nadu for three days, entire Tamil Nadu PCC, he is taking donation from the people of Tamil Nadu and they are doing the Yatra. When we are in Kerala, entire Kerala PCC is capable enough. Within, within one 30, you know, within 30 days, they collected 5 crores in Kerala, from Kerala. Through 137 challenge, they named it as a 137 challenge. You know, we had a system for like that. In Karnataka, Karnataka PCC has done. So you deny that, uh, you know, this was an ex extremely expensive exercise no, not, not, that the not, Congress not, overtook. Not, not, nothing, because that was a, actually, that was a great experience for all of us. The people from all walk of the country joined Bharat Jodo Yatra. One final, final question. You and Rahul Gandhi, as I said at the outset, very, are reportedly very close to uh, each other. You all, he confides a lot in you. Is it true that, the, that you all were sitting next to each other in parliament when you were an MP in the Lok Sabha and he was? And sitting next to each other, you all became friends. <laughs> That's why every One congressman now wants to sit next to Rahul Gandhi after that. <laughs> if I sit next to Rahul Gandhi, yeah. I'll become the next KC Venugopal. I used to sit next to him only. But my relationship was there earlier also when I was in Youth Congress. And, but it was built up during the period of 2014-19 when we were in the opposition bench. We were only 43. That point of time, we were only 43 members. I think if you can witness how much energy we have there to fight against BJP with these 43 members, I am one among that 43 with great fighting mood. The BJP has projected Rahul Gandhi as a papu. Hmm. What is the reality? Who is the real Rahul Gandhi? That Rajiv has to give a judgment. If you have a sincere, independent view, you have to give a view to viewers now whether Rahul Gandhi is a papu or not. No, in, my, in my view, yes. you can see his speeches. He can speak speeches. My view. In Kerala, during the Bharat Jodo Yatra, every individual came to him and speak to him. He talked about them. Journalists are there, farmers are there, students are there, engineers are there. He should speak to journalists also. Ah, journalists are also speaking. Whomever is coming, he is speaking to their subject in a very, very knowledgeable way. Because I know that him. I wondered, once he talked about Narayana Gurudevan. You know Narayana Gurudevan yes, in Kerala, course. greatest reformist. Whatever things he knows about Narayana Gurudev is an amazing thing for me also. He knows everything about Narayana Whenever Karnataka, 
लिंगायत गुरु ही नो यू बोट हिम बसवना बसवना जी वो ही इज ही इज अ पर्सन ही इज अ पर्सन हु इज लिसनिंग ही इज अ पर्सन हु रीडिंग ही इज अ पर्सन हु इज नोइंग बट द फैक्ट्री लाइफ फैक्ट्री ऑफ बीजेपी एंड आर एस एस हैव वन पॉइंट एजेंडा टू डिस्ट्रॉय टारनिश इज इमेज through this word of pappu but now bharat jodo yatra destroy that image also i am very sure that now the india realizing he is not a pappu he is an intelligent sincere humble simple politician of india kc venugopal this has been an education for many of us to find out who is that voice behind this powerful figure in the congress party your tone certainly indicates congress abhi zinda hai that you believe like tiger zinda hai congress cannot be written off we'll wait and see what happens in the next 10 months you will be a figure to watch out for but you've given us a big insight into the way the congress functions ladies and gentlemen please give a big hand thank you kc venugopal thank you very much